Winter may not even be in full swing yet, but to help you plan ahead, I'm sharing the most wearable spring fashion trends that I'm sure you're going to love. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome to my channel. Today I'm talking spring fashion trends and there are a couple of really interesting ones here. And in fact, I'm gonna keep the best to last. And I know this one is going to make a number of you very happy. So anyway, I hope you enjoy today's episode. I, as you can see, am back here in New Zealand. I'm very sad to have left the US, but I had an amazing six weeks over there with my boys. So anyway, before I keep rabbiting on, Happy New Year to everyone. Great to see you. Great to be back here. And let's get on with these trends. Now, arguably, the biggest trend that is set to dominate this spring is one that I'm calling classic styling. Now, it was originally referred to as quiet luxury. I did a video on that last year. I took it down. I'm not going to go into that. But what I am going to do is put the spotlight on classic styling. And essentially, it is elevated basics that are timeless. They're not covered in logos. They're not attached to a particular year or genre. They're very good capsule basic pieces that are going to really form a good foundation for creating all sorts of interesting outfits. These pieces do tend to be a little bit more high end. They're a little bit more tailored. And that's not saying that you can't actually wear some of these tailored pieces in a very casual way. It's a little bit like the office has moved to the street and so it's about taking one part of what would traditionally have been more of a kind of a, a corporate outfit and creating more of a modern street style look. So that could be as simple as just some tailored trousers worn back with a t-shirt and some trainers just kind of mixing it up a little bit but that very classic simple minimalist styling is going to completely dominate for spring. In fact, it's also going to continue on for the rest of 24. So if you like this look, then it's time to invest because it's not going anywhere. And at this point, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to Songmont for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. If you've never heard of Songmont before, it's a beautiful brand that offers luxury quality at an accessible price point. They use high quality full grain leather so their bags feel luxurious and extremely durable. So you don't have to worry about scuffs and stains. The designs are not only beautiful, but also practical. Before I walk you through why I particularly love the bags that I chose, I wanted to share a discount offer from the team at Songmont, which is to save 12% off your order. All you need to do is use the code Leone12 at checkout to take advantage of that great deal. Now I chose two bags from Songmont and the first one is a drippy hobo bag in this beautiful olive suede and I also couldn't help but pick the viral Luna bag which is just a classic beauty and so versatile. It's basically four bags in one. You can wear it as it is, as a shoulder bag, as a mini dumpling little croissant look bag and you can also wear it as a wristlet. The final way and probably my favorite way to wear this bag is as a cross body bag and this is a good one if like me you prefer to go hands free. To me this makes the Luna the ultimate bag. It will see you through any occasion from day to night. Considering how many ways you're going to wear it the actual cost per wear on this bag will be amazing. It's an absolute classic in my mind and one that I'll love and wear for many years. It's also the perfect neutral tone too, which I especially love. I absolutely love the drippy tote in olive suede. I've been carrying it ever since I got back from the US because as you can see, it fits a lot. It's made of real suede in this gorgeous khaki olive color. It has an adjustable full grain leather strap so you can wear it as a shoulder tote or even a cross body. It has a really handy inner pocket for small items like your keys and a lipstick. And at the top, it has this magnetic closure to keep everything nice and safe. 
The strap also has pockets on either side, large enough to fit an iPhone, and the magnetic attachments on the side make sure that these flaps don't sort of flop around all over the place. It keeps them nice and snug and in place. It also has little foot studs, as you can see here, to stop it from getting dirty and to help maintain its shape. Both of these bags, in my opinion, are absolutely beautiful, hard wearing and classic bags that you will get lots and lots of wear out of for years to come. And that's my motto this year. I am buying well and buying less. So if you like these bags or if you want to see what else Song Mont do, then whip on over to their website. I will leave a link in the description box below. But also don't forget to take advantage of that offer, which is Leone 12 to save 12% 12 off your order. Now, let's get back to the video. Now, next up is the return of black. And I did touch on this in a recent video, but it is quite surprising and a little unusual to be seeing so much black in spring. We can normally expect to see lots of vibrant colors and patterns and florals, of course, but this spring you will see those, but there is also a really dominant feature of black making a comeback as well. Now I'm kind of giving a nod to that trend today, and I do think it also leads in very nicely to that kind of more minimalist style of classic dressing that we are seeing gaining momentum. Black, in my opinion, is always a very chic look, especially wearing it in a monochrome fashion, sort of all black outfits are very much what we can expect to see. And certainly it's a little bit of a, a change from sort of the peacocking colors that we have seen of late. And certainly a lot of those sort of bright jeweled colors that we can expect to see this winter. So think about black as your new staple. And of course it is universally flattering. If you want to break it up a little bit, then opt for a piece like this that's a little bit sheerer so that it kind of doesn't look quite so heavy, but black is definitely back for spring. Now, one of the other trends that is going to be huge this spring and one that I do think is extremely flattering, and that is pretty peplums. I did see designers send their models down the runway wearing some gorgeous, floaty, lightweight peplum tops. And what I should say too, is that there's quite a return to cropped, more fitted jeans. And these pretty peplums work back beautifully with that style of, of denim. So keep an eye out for them. I know they're not going to be a favorite for everyone, but they are potentially very pretty, very good for spring. They're, as I said, feminine. What I have seen the, the designers show is more of a sort of a, a floaty, airy style peplum. So it's feminine, it's fun and perfect for spring. Now this season has been all about belts and cinching ourselves in at our waist to kind of emphasize our silhouette. Spring seems to be taking a turn to the other way and there seem to be a lot of drop waist dresses coming back. Now these drop waist styles definitely tend to, in my opinion, be the most flattering on more slender bodies with smaller bust and hips. But certainly when it comes to fitting them and styling them, as long as you don't have them too fitted, they can really give your, or give the illusion of different proportions to what you really have, depending on where that drop, dropped waistline actually falls. So just proceed with a little bit of caution, but also potentially use them just to alter your proportions a little bit to create more of a, a flattering look, if that's what you're going for. Now this next trend is a real favorite of mine, and that is the return of boxy style cropped blazers and jackets. And of course, the last sort of spring summer, we saw oversized men's blazers, men's style blazers, and we will be still seeing a little bit of that, but what we are also seeing along with bombers is these beautiful boxy style cropped jackets. Now, I just think that they are a fantastic layering piece. They're easy to wear, great to cover up your arms if you like to do that. And they just create an interesting, 
an interesting outfit in my opinion and don't be worried about bearing your midriff you can wear them over a maxi slip dress or a maxi dress you can wear a t-shirt or a top that hangs a little bit lower underneath it's not all about having everything finish where your jacket finishes but these crop jackets are really versatile there's not too much weight to them they're just an easy addition to a spring wardrobe so i'm very excited that there are going to be plenty of options on offer now i didn't actually think that i would be including this trend but capri pants are coming back now this is probably going to divide some of you some of you will love capris some not so much but what is happening and what we can expect to see are capri pants that fall just below your knee and I think that's the key when it comes to this style of pants it's where they actually fall so steer clear of any capris that fall mid calf they are not going to be flattering but anything that is just above your knee or even just below your calf is going to be a good option just steer clear of that mid calf fall it's really not good on anyone but capri pants are here they're going to give your outfits a bit of a sporty edge and they can be teamed back with some flat sandals oversized button-down shirts which you can grab from more of your sort of classic minimalist styling but there are options here with these capris and they are also practical so capris are back and i can't quite believe i'm excited about it now this one isn't actually new but it is gaining momentum in spring and that is sheer layering pieces now I talked about sheer pieces a few videos ago and that was sheer pieces for fall winter which I just feel tend to be pretty tricky to actually style but for spring summer they that's a different story in my mind so expect to see lots of these sheer pieces and a little bit like the woven pieces that I spoke about earlier it really is just what you wear underneath to kind of make it more wearable and every day so think about some of these sheer pieces they do give you that versatility and giving you a bit of coverage but they're not too heavy as the weather starts to heat up and you can have a little bit of fun with coordinating different colored pieces underneath just to give those sheer pieces a different look and feel so don't write them off have a little bit of fun with them they're nothing to be scared of but you do have to put a little bit of thought into some of those pieces that you team team them with and wear underneath i couldn't put this video together without sharing kitten heels now we have seen kitten heels as a happening thing for the last few seasons i was going to say a few months yep it has been the last few months but kitten heels are very much here to stay and if like me you don't like tossing around in high heels and feeling or sacrificing your comfort for style then kitten heels are kind of that middle ground they're generally super comfy they're not too high and they just go with everything from dresses to pants to jeans they're the ultimate shoe when it comes to wanting something that's a little bit more elevated than say a trainer or just a flat sandal or a loafer so kitten heels are here to stay if you've been wearing them over fall winter or over the last 12 months keep them don't part with them they are going to be bigger and better than ever for spring summer so hang on to them now i know there's been a lot of talk about low rise coming back but i am not seeing any real evidence of that for spring this year in in fact some of the rises on pants that i'm seeing are if anything going up so even paper bag style waists but high rise pants are definitely here and definitely here for the long haul i think the only thing that we need to keep in mind with these pants is to perhaps team them with something that's a little more fitted on top and they do tend to look particularly good if you tuck in whatever you're wearing on top also if you are looking to create the illusion of longer legs these high-rise pants are the easiest way to do it and last but not least this one is one that i have completely ignored today but it's not spring yet so that's okay 
but side parts are returning. Now I'm talking about my hair or hair trends in general. I keep seeing models coming down the runway with side parts and really deep side parts. In fact, I had a very deep side part on my wedding day. I will try and grab a picture of that. It was many years ago, but I'll pop up a picture here so you can have a look because I get lots of comments on the way I part my hair or style my hair. And in fact, the returning, I'm definitely going to give it a go again just to change things up a little bit. But in terms of hair and styling, it has all been about the middle part for a really long time, but we're moving to the side. And I know those of you out there that don't like my middle part are going to be very happy about this one. And if you enjoyed today's episode, I'm sure you're going to love to hear about the biggest trends that are set to be huge this year. If you would click or tap on the screen here and I look forward to seeing you there.